What's up, Gemini? This is going to be a rest of August and into first part of September finance read for you. I'll let your boy. Website link in the description below. Feel free to like, share, follow across all social media platforms. Gemini, show your boy some love. Like, share, follow, comment below. Okay. Let's see. Pettiness this Leo season. Five of Wands. Competition, competing for money. Now I understand. Okay, win willing to um, winning, I wanna say. Um, willing to spin that wheel of fortune. Test the fates and the fury financially. Um, could be trading, investing, gambling, playing the lotto. Um, I'm sensing that you're like confident about money for some reason, Gemini. Uh, rest of August into early September. Um, I get the sense that you're winning. You have some good karmic storage in financial matters, uh, charged up with the universe. Okay, it's high frequency vibration, Gemini. So you could have been doing your soul work and attracting abundance. Okay? Money is coming to you. It's that cup, right? Similar wavelengths, similar energy. Your ships are coming in. You're mapping out. You're planning. You're strategizing how to invest and how to spend, how to play with it, how to have fun this Leo season, the rest of the seven or eight remaining days depending on when you view this of Leo season. Literal celebration. Okay? So it's coming. It's coming. You can almost feel it, Gemini. Spirit highest possible messages for Gemini, August 2020. Timeless stamp as well, depending on when he or she views it, them or they. Aquarius Pisces energy you could be dealing with as well. Sagittarius on the board, Leo on the board, double Sagittarius energy. The planet Jupiter is involved, joy, luck, abundance, philosophy. You could be rethinking your lifestyle. Okay. Yeah, you could be wanting to work hard, uh, smarter instead of harder. You could currently be working harder instead of smarter, Gemini. Okay, you ain't about that life. That's what this Nine of Wands means. He, uh, wounded healer, wounded warrior type energy. Triple Sagittarius confirmation, Gemini. Third party situation could be work situation. Quadruple Sag energy right here. Strong Sag energy. This is quick in and out energy. Um, maybe someone that came on board a project or a work environment didn't last. Maybe they weren't the one for you. Um, Three of Pentacles, this is Mars and Capricorn energy. Slow, steady, slow, steady pursuant energy of a goal, object, ultimate achievement, project, completion. Okay, that's what Capricorn is all about. Mars is the planet of action. Someone is turning away from this. Could be a Sagitt Sagittarian, excuse me. Um, maybe they felt burdened, but for some reason an opportunity seems to be opening up. Someone could be rushing to your assistance, quite possibly the Sagittarian. They see how hard you've worked, they're giving you your due, they're giving you your victory. It could be a raise or a promotion, Gemini, with this tenth and final wand here symbolizing a hard-fought victory. Okay, you could be getting a promotion from a Sagittarius boss. This is quintuple confirmation Sagittarian energy right here. This is Cap Sag energy, Sagittarian energy, Capricorn energy, Virgo Taurus energy, Queen of Wands, someone who could provide for, someone who provides, someone who could provide for hers and, uh, and herself, herself and uh, others in her circle, okay? So, yeah, I mean, I just, somebody is probably, you know, looking on at your work, um, again, doesn't have to be traditional nine to five work, Saggy, or excuse me, Gemini. Um, 
but the Sagi is noticing it, and I think you're well aware. It's kind of in the air, both of you are, okay? Are well aware um, at what's going on. Could be like politically at work, or on a team, or who's doing the work, who's not doing the work. Spirit, any highest possible messages for Gemini? Again, this is the rest of August, early September, if not the first half of September 2020. Financial read for you, Gemini. Wishing you the best, wishing you abundance and fulfillment. Ten of Pentacles. Yes, there's enough to go around. Spirit said, can I get an amen? Amen. Just got to tune in to the frequency of abundance and abundance abounds. All right, Spirit. Yeah, because there was lack of reciprocity in a previous situation, Gemini. And double confirmation, literally, you're trying to put down that burden right here. It's like, I'm doing all the goddamn work. And you're not acknowledging that. And it's literally some Gemini shit energy right here. Kind of, kind of constantly chasing the other self, the other side of the self, right? So. There you go. Emotional maturity about the matter. Death. You could be leaving a job situation. Okay? Getting out of a place where you thought you were confined to or stuck like a prison. You're stepping out of the prison and into the prism of manifesting your reality where all realities are possible. Your highest probable possible reality is that which you're trying to tune into and manifest. Can I get an amen? As I said, amen. This is emotional dependence, though. That's why this situation could be hard, and you might have to be showing emotional independence, okay, as opposed to dependence with that nine of cups in the reverse, all right? You got to be a grown adult about it. Set sail for new horizons and harbors, all right? You're very capable, Gemini. Okay, there's a lot not illuminated, though. Fears and anxieties at this point in your life can get the best of you, can get a hold of you, can keep you back. But, again, when you fight those energies with mindfulness, meditation, mantra practice, okay? Replacing those bad thoughts with a good thought, even before those bad thoughts can even start to play in the background of your consciousness, okay? And Buyaka, there you go, boom, bam, bingo, was his name, oh, was her name, oh, was them and theirs and they's name, oh, okay, um, this is happiness, harmony, bliss, you get it, you get the, that fulfillment with the Ten of Cups, because you, because you manned up, you womaned up, you bossed up, and you did what was right for yourself, your mental, emotional, physical, spiritual health financial health. This is a financial reading, but it's all in unison. It's all in tandem. It's all tied together. Okay. So again, although it might seem fearful and look, there's more opportunity coming as soon as you take that leap of faith, whether it's leaving an old position, whether it's going to be very savory and very seductive and very up your alley. You're going to want to jump at it with like sink your fangs in it. Okay. Type energy. Um, but you have to be able to, you know, self-sustain through the unknown, okay? And this will be worth it, long time coming, slow plotting energy, but growing and reaping the benefits of bearing what you've sown, okay, in a positive way. Okay, this is rushing and coming victory as soon as you do make those hard decisions to possibly move on. Tower moment. This is a collapse of a structure that wasn't built properly, Gemini. Okay, so after the battle, you need rest and recovery, meditation, like I said before, okay? You need to recover. You should be able to sustain yourself with financial stability, whether it be in between projects, contracts, jobs, things like that. Don't let this situation infiltrate your mind or your professionalism with the Queen of Swords in reverse. Show power and authority of action. Take action, move, strike while the iron's hot. This is a perfect time to do so, Gemini. This is what I'm getting loud and clear for you. Yeah, there's, there's reticence and hesitance to move on. It seems unreal. It seems unnatural to you. It seems unfair, even, Gemini. 
You have your guard up. You could be at a high stature or, or status with where you're at right now. And you're saying that this isn't fair, I worked hard, and, but remember, no energy is gained or lost in the universe. The energy that you think is being lost upon you by walking away or stepping down or leaving your position or your title, the universe recycles that. The universe keeps tab of that. It keeps tab on your financial, spiritual karmas, okay? You can do this, Gemini. Okay, let's get one more. I don't want to keep you too long. Spirit of love and light. Highest possible messages for Gemini. Rest of August, early into September 2020. Finance. Yeah, you could be having some heartbreak leaving a work situation. And that's what's keeping you, but there's better days ahead. You have your pick of the litter here. You're going to have your druthers. And it's going to be a soulmate, destined bond relationship going to be spiritually attached to your karma in a good way. It's going to be where you're meant to be, Gemini. Do not do not hesitate to make this move. Don't lose faith. Trust in the divine. Trust in the universe has your back. Okay, this is what's meant to be. It's in the cards, I'm telling you right now. It doesn't get any better than that. You ready to pull the Ten of Cups, and this is just confirmation for you. Um, yeah. Don't settle, Gemini. Okay, wishing you all the best. Holler at your boy. Like, share, follow. Leave comments. Let me know about your situation. Let me know if I can help you. Would love to give you a personal one-on-one -on -one pre recorded or live read. My rates are reasonable, starting at $2.22 a minute. Patreon subscribers get reduced rates and offers on tarot reading spreads. All right, holler at your boy. Let me help you. All right, peace.